Liam Neeson and I worked together before on Gangs of New York. Uh, Karen Hines, I've, I've always admired. He's, he's an extraordinary actor, a great, great actor, really. So much so, I don't even know he's in which... I, I've seen him in movies, and I say, who's that guy? And it's always the same guy. It's Karen Hines. Hines. So <laughs> I never recognize... He, he's so extremely uh, immersed in the character he plays, you know? Um, and uh, I, I find him to be amazing. Andrew and Adam were new to me. I, I mean, I'd seen Andrew in Social Network and the Red Riding film and Boy A, I think, and Adam in the Noah Baumbach movie and, um, well, and Girls. And, and, and I really loved him and I loved his work. Uh, and they took the work very seriously, uh, threw themselves into the roles they say actually, actually really involve certain hardships. Uh, one of which, besides going to uh, uh, travel in Portugal and uh, going on retreat in Wales, uh, religious retreat and all this sort of thing, uh, but when it got to do the picture, they really had to be extremely thin and they had to eat very, very little during the shooting. Um, we had a nutritionist with us, but but it was, it was a... Uh, uh, physical hardship, and and Andrew actually um, went through the um, and completed the spiritual exercises of the Jesuits. Uh, this uh, Father James Martin, uh, who helped him through that, which is an extraordinary achievement. Many of the the Japanese actors I'd known and I admired for years in other films. Tadanobu Asano uh, plays the translator. Uh, and I'd seen him in pictures by Kiyoshi Kurosawa in Ichi the Killer, Mike's film, uh, in uh, Shinji Aoyama's films, uh, in Mongol. And I, I mean, I've always loved his work. Um, Shinji Tsukamoto, I knew really as a filmmaker. He's brilliant, brilliant director. He made incredibly visceral films. Uh, Tetsuo, the, um, the Iron Man. Electric Dragon, uh, a film called A Snake of June, which is um, avant-garde, beautiful. Uh, in fact, the woman in it, Akira, uh, the woman in Asuna Kurosawa, she plays the wife of Andrew at the end of the film in, in our picture. Uh, he is a, a very independent filmmaker. He's so independent now, he just shoots his own stuff, edits his own stuff. Uh, his latest picture was Fires on the Plain, which was shown in Venice a couple of years ago. Uh, but he's a remarkable, remarkable person and artist. Uh, Yoshi Oida was new to me. He's actually written many books on acting. He's worked with Peter Brook for 40 years. Um, uh, Yotsuke Kobutsuka. Uh, he played Kichichiro. And also seen him and admire him in many films. Um, uh, but his key, he, what, what clicked there with, with Yotsuke was, was the audition. He was he was uh, clear, precisely, right on, and it's a hard role to uh, to cast, but we got it with him. We knew it in that audition. And then there's Issei Ogata, plays the Inquisitor, and he's somebody I admired for many years. Ever since I saw him in uh, Yi Yi by Edward Yang, uh, where he plays a Japanese businessman, and he in Alexander Sukarov's film The Sun, S U N in which he plays uh, Emperor Hirohito in the last few days of the war and his uh, meetings with MacArthur. He's, he's extraordinary. Uh, and each of these actors brought um, more than their artistry. They just brought themselves to the part so much that uh, it was very moving. Nine films I've done with Dante and his wife, Francesca. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's a genius at what he does. He was also able to create something from nothing, really, you know. Um, if he's given the ability to create something bigger and uh, financially uh, given the, uh, the, the support, that's something else. But he can also come up with something uh, that we need uh, with that very special eye that he has and sense of design, which, which really also works out to be something that's accurate and for the period. You know, so we just know each other that way. We worked. I've always admired his work on all the other films he's made, uh, and um, he went through a lot of hardships to make this picture. But he came through. Uh, he did some beautiful work. 
this is the second time I worked with, or third time I worked with Rodrigo Prieto. Uh, and <laughs> he was another, uh, he was another person in the sense that once we got the camera in that position, we felt that uh, the image was telling us more than what we thought. And he would go with that. Um, the key thing, his lighting is, is, uh, is uh, subtle and uh, uh, sensitive. His tone on set is something which is um, supportive um, with humor, but at the same time, uh, not necessarily phased by all the crises. Um, and so uh, the temperament is good, but but uh, the ability to try different things, the ability to to say, well, can't we have the camera fly over there like a Wolf of Wall Street and fly? He'd work it out, you know. Um, I, I'm very lucky, I think, to have a good relationship with him, and he's a wonderful artist, great artist.